This week, we are going to study expected value and moments and some statistics uh, about random variables. And then we will talk about characteristic, characteristic functions and uh, similar transforms. And we will conclude with conditional distributions and conditional moments. Let's start with the expected value and we will start with uh, discrete random variables. The expected value of a discrete random variable is defined here. It's a weighted sum, a weighted sum of uh, the, the possible outcomes, and they are weighted by their corresponding uh, probabilities. Uh, sometimes the expected value is also called the mean, and by notation, in addition to uh, this notation here, we also sometimes see m sub x or mu sub x in some resources. Um, essentially, it resembles uh, the, the, the center of mass uh, of uh, discrete masses on, let's say, a rod. Let's say here we have uh, an example a discrete distribution. We have one over four probabilities at one and four, and we have one half probability at two. So let's represent this with, with uh, corresponding masses uh, on a one dimensional plane, let's say. So we have uh, a mass of one over four here, a mass of one over four here, and a mass of one half here. So effectively, what the expected value means is the center of mass with respect to this distribution of masses, okay? So what you have is something like this, okay? So you have, uh, well, if you apply this definition, you have one, this outcome here, weighted by its probability one over four and two, this outcome here, or well, this mass here, and uh, its probability one half. And finally, this mass here, four, with the weight uh, of one over four, okay? And when you add them up, you get 2.25, which corresponds to uh, the center of mass here. So the expected value sort of gives us center of mass of such a distribution. What about continuous distributions? Let's say this is um, a continuous uh, distribution, a, a PDF, and essentially to derive the uh, expected value of a continuous distribution, we are going to, uh, we are going to actually use a discretization on this PDF, and we are going to approximate this with a discrete distribution. Okay, if you remember, um, the probability of uh, the random variable x, which is continuous, being in the vicinity of uh, some value, let's say x sub i, was uh, proportional to its PDF value. And in fact, we could actually approximate it with uh, where h is small, with uh, the PDF value multiplied by, uh, with this h value. So we are going to actually discretize this PDF, discretize the uh, real line, and we are going to approximate this PDF with a PMF. So this is what we are going to have. Of course, I'm, I'm assuming this continues uh, in these directions, but this is just uh, a portion we are going to look at. And the PMF values now uh, actually are proportional to the PDF values, okay? And we know now when, when we have this discrete distribution, we know how to compute its mean. And as the h, the, the width of the discretization interval goes to zero, we obtain uh, the expected value of the actual continuous random variable. Okay, so we are going to compute this. And if you plug in our definition, this was for discrete random variables. And if you remember for this PMF, this is what we have for this continuous distribution. And if you take the limit, actually, this is a sum. And as the limit uh, where h goes to zero, uh, this actually approaches the Riemann integral of this function. As you see, this uh, is again sort of a weighted sum where you have the values weighted by their corresponding PDF uh, values.